Here's how to make a knitted bias tape. Going to start by casting on eight stitches. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You want to leave a long tail because you're going to be able to use that when you sew it on whatever you're going to sew it on. This consists of two rows, the pattern, and the first row is purl all the stitches. So we're going to purl all the stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm doing this with eight stitches. It depends on how wide you want your tape to be. Okay, that's the first row, which is the wrong side is purl. The next row is you would slip the first stitch, knit the next two stitches together, knit until one stitch before the end, which is now, increase that stitch, knit again, and knit the last stitch. Now you're going to turn around and you should still have eight stitches. So let's see if we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in other words, you are knitting two together to decrease and then adding one to increase and the bias is going to be going this way. So again, we're ready for the second row. I'm going to slip the first stitch, knit the next two stitches together, knit until you get to the stitch before the last one, increase and knit and knit it off and turn for the second row of the pattern, which is all purl. And remember that the wrong side is the purl side. And remember to count your stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you don't come out with the right number of stitches, you've obviously done something wrong. So you can see now how the bias is going on the bias. You just continue with these two rows, decreasing, increasing, and purling back until you get the bias tape to be as long as you want it to be. So I've been going on and show you a couple more times. Slip, knit two together, knit until the stitch before the last stitch, increase any way you like, knit, knit the last stitch, turn the work, purl, make sure you still have eight stitches, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm going to do one more row and I'm going to do it real slow. Slip, knit two together, Knit till you get to the stitch before the last one. Increase, knit, and knit the last stitch. And you're going to bind off with the purl. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the last stitch, 
which leaves one on the needle. So I'm going to pick up my scissors and just cut it off and pull it through. Now you'd probably want to do a longer piece than this for whatever you're doing, but it's really nice. You can use it to edge a baby, a, a blanket of any kind actually, a jacket, anywhere you would use a bias tape.